Welcome to Spinsterhood. My name's Jill and I'll be your guide. And it's about to get spicy. I love spicy food. I absolutely love it. I put hot sauce on pretty much anything. I actually get like a mini panic attack when I run out of either sriracha or Cholula. Oh my gosh, so good. So today I thought I'd share with you one of my favorite spicy toppings that I use on salads, tacos, um, just any sort of kind of Tex-Mex dish. You could also put this on eggs, I suppose. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about pickled jalapeno and red onion. I pickle them both together and both the flavors kind of mix and combine and just become mm -mm -mm, so good. Uh, if you are allergic to jalapenos, I have a friend who is, don't make this. Certainly don't make it for them. That's not nice. Um, you could probably also substitute it and just do, uh, and perhaps you use another pepper, or you could just pickle the onion. And I have tried this with regular white onion and it tastes delicious as well, but I really love the flavor of the red onion. The way we're gonna start this is by chopping up our red onion. I'm doing this seated because I'm too tall to really make this shot work. So we're gonna, I'm gonna attempt to not hurt myself chopping while sitting is not something that I'm accustomed to. Okay, so just chopped up uh, almost half of a half, so a quarter. <laughs> Can you tell I was good at math as a child or an adult? Um, and then I'm just popping those slices in to like a Tupperware container. You do need some sort of container. You can put this in a bowl or I'm using, like I said, this is a, like a Rubbermaid container. Next onto our jalapeno. Um, you can de-seed this if you'd like, if you don't want it to be so spicy, but I'm like, bring it on. So I'm just gonna chop this up. This is a giant jalapeno. I don't know if you guys really saw it, uh, but this is one ring. Look at that. Don't put it close to your eye. Probably don't do what I just did. That's dangerous. <laughs> but it's giant, it's my point. Um, also, if you happen to have rubber gloves, like little kind of gloves for, um, disposable gloves for cleaning, like latex gloves or anything like that, this would be a good time to wear them because I won't be able to touch my eyes the rest of the day. And I've been having itchy eyes lately, so. Pray for me. Um, so uh, the oils do stay on your hands, so you do want to make sure that you are careful of what you're doing with your hands, even after you wash them, because the oils do remain for a little while. Uh, so, okay, so we have our jalapeno and our onion in this container. Now it's time for our pickling liquid. Uh, usually, you know, you have a brine. Everyone's familiar with a brine in terms of pickling when it comes to pickles, one of my favorite items in the world. Um, we're doing a twist on that. So it's not traditional pickling liquid, but you do need an acid. And the acid that we're using for this is um, apple cider vinegar, which I love. It's such a great, flavor. Um, I'll sometimes just put this in a stir fry just to help kind of brighten stuff up, especially if I don't have any sort of citrus fruit on hand. This is a great um, alternative sometimes and, and substitute. We're going to use a lot of this. So just be forewarned. You're pretty much going to put enough apple cider vinegar in your container to cover everything. That's, I'd say that's close to a cup of liquid. I know, it's a lot. Trust me, it's worth it. Then we're going to put, I'd say about a teaspoon of salt. I'm using kosher salt because even though I'm not Jewish, I just feel like it's a good thing. So I use kosher salt, fantastic. Um, and then we've got a little bit of sugar. So we have our salt, our vinegar, and now our sugar. You do not need a lot of sugar. So I'm just gonna do like a healthy 
two pinches. That's it. And that's standard white vinegar. Then I'm gonna take a spoon and just kind of like stir it a little bit or stab it with the spoon. So not really stirring, you know. And then give it a shake. Oh, make sure it's on tight or you'll get sprinkled with vinegar. And that's pretty much it. You're gonna pop this in the fridge and leave it overnight. You do want to make sure that you're making this at least a day ahead of whenever you wanna use it. Here is one that I made a couple days ago. So it's been sitting for at least 48 hours. Let's give it a try. Oh man, there's only like, all the jalapenos that were for sale were giant. So I only have, okay, this is a smaller one. Maybe I'll try and get a little bit of onion. I don't know if I can. A tiny sliver of onion. Whew. That's <clears throat> that's good. That's really good. You know us weirdos who love spice. It's like, who that's painful. I love it. I don't know, we're all crazy, what can I say? But this is really good. It mixes with that brine and it has this sour, spicy, oniony flavor to it. It is so good. So I do encourage you to make this, give it a try. When you're done with them, when you've eaten all the stuff, don't throw that liquid away. You can either reuse it and pickle some more stuff, or you can use that vinegar in sauces, uh, dressings, or just put it, I do a lot of one pot meals, which is basically just like, I'll make any sort of hash, right? Just cut up like a sweet potato to black beans and veggies and spices throwing stuff like this in there, oh my gosh, it just elevates it. And not to mention the fact that if you make this and have friends over for like a taco party, they're gonna be impressed, okay? I'm just telling you, I'm forewarning you. Um, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna think you're impressive because they're not gonna believe that you made it yourself because they're so delicious. And like I said, very addicting. So um, give these a try. Making stuff like this is super simple. Get creative in the kitchen, try new things. And until next time, you stay confident and stay spicy, spicy. And I'll see you next time on Spinsterhood. It will impress your friends. They'll be like, whoa, okay, pickling, step him back. Look who's the pro. You're, you're the pro in this scenario.